Hi, YouTube. This is Perry for episode 14 of Pinoy SoCal Riders. I have documented in this video my search for a second helmet, a modular one. After roughly 18 months of riding, I have gained a little bit of confidence in my rides. And with summer fast approaching and so many riders out there now hitting the road, I wanted an option of using a helmet that's open faced, chin guard up, in many instances for comfort and for clarity in what I'm trying to communicate in my videos, but not at the expense of safety, of course, on the road. Uh, in this video, I wanted to show you my basic setup for capturing my rides on audio and video. I did not opt for the integrated Sina uh, SRL or SRL2 communication systems. And I instead tried the Cardo Freecom 4X instead of the Cena this time, which I already I already have that Cena in my full face helmet, the Shoei GT Air 2. No complaints, got intuitive controls, very good sound, and I like it. But basically, I originally wanted a different brand of helmet with a different sound setup to test out the optimum experience of riding with these head protections and communication systems without sacrificing value and safety. I got the Rode Wireless 2 for my audio system when I feel like it's better communicating what I want to say when I want to say it without the danger of getting distracted. Like I always say, it's better to be in the side of safety when riding these well, big motorcycle now, got R1250GS Adventure. This wireless microphone system attaches onto the stitch side of my Insta360 camera to hide it. And that is made possible by using this Olanzi bracket to hold the wireless receiver and the audio adapter to attach it to the camera's ports. I just place the transmitter neatly in my pocket and I just run a Lavalier microphone snugly into my helmet and that is my setup for these coming days into the riding season this summer and I hope you enjoy the rest of this video. I originally was searching for a Schubert modular helmet. Additionally, I wanted it in the red, white, violet BMW M colors. It matches my GS Adventure. Also with the C5, Schubert introduces its first helmet with PJ and ECER 2206 homologation. The Schubert C5 also boasts of an aeroacoustics comfort with only 85 decibels at 100 km an hour in a naked bike. That's like 60 miles an hour. The wind tunnel technology has optimized every single component into the aeroacoustics comfort both inside and outside of the helmet. The result is an unparalleled soundproofing level enriched by the brand new neck roll. 
the 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 Schubert also has the new ventilation system. It, it, it's a game changer in the flip up helmet category. An optimum head thermoregulation maximizes rider performance and comfort. For this reason, C5 is designed to combine the ultimate ventilation with a dual chin air intake with exchangeable filter combined with a new back spoiler featuring air exhaust and uncovered EPS ventilation channels. For longer or highway rides where allowed, you can also flip the chin guard up and lock it at the push of a button. So that's what's drawn me to try the shoe berth. So I went to my local cycle gear for a head fitting. They had some C3s and C4 models out there, but not a C5. Uh, I also saw an M collar helmet that I liked online. It's called the C5 Master. In the fitting though, I found it weird that the large size for the shoe berth wouldn't fit, at least in the C3 or the C4 models. It's not like the chin straps were short or the cheek cushions were too pressed. It wouldn't even enter my head. My head size is 59.69 centimeters. And I have worn my GT Air 2 Showy in the large size. It, it fits great. So what did I do? I ordered the next size up for the Schubert. It's the XL. And it came a couple of days later. I tried it. I thought it must have been the excitement and a little bit of denial. And even though it seemed to have fit a bit loose at the time, I approved. And I had the Cardo system installed. You can use that if, not, if, if I'm not riding. Huh? You can use the Schubert if I'm not riding. That's why I got an XL. Ah. If I won't be riding the GS anyway. It's a good modular. It's ECE rated. Uh, my son Jared tried it on his ride and he felt that the helmet was too big, even for him. And he is an actual XL. I gave it a few more hours or so of riding and I just had to accept that it really was bigger. And with Schubert, I was kind of stuck in that weird zone between a very tight large size, which on the website is 58 to 59 centimeters and their XL size at 60 to 61 centimeters. What with my head size at 59.67, it seems pretty odd. I also felt too that my head shape kinda played a factor since it seemed like I do not have a problem fitting with any showy helmet anyway, with a size large. So I went back to research and thankfully, I did, because I found out that there are a lot of great features that Shoei's modular helmets offer. This landed me to its Neotech 2 model, the Shoei's premium modular line. I preferred Schubert's design of its C5 Master in the M color, or you know, even the Globe one, but still, Shoei's design matched the BMW M colors that I was looking for. So with that information, with only the ECE 2206 oh, certification and that flip up lock button as the real great features that I'd miss from the Schubert's helmet, although these are really important features, but it didn't fit me anyway. So I decided to give Shoei's Neotech to a try. Literally next to my mouth, on my my upper chin next to my mouth so let's see how this compares okay with my visor open hello my test my visor is open my visor is open hello my test let's test the wind noise the road while let's go to let's close it okay visor is closed and locked. Check mic test one two. Hello everyone. As you can see, I'm testing the Go Two Wireless by Road, and this one is a single channel. And testing this 
on a Shelby GT Air 2. Well, hello. Okay. I'm trying to see if this works. We got a modular from Schubert. And I'm trying to check out the Rode Wireless Go 2 as well. I'm not sure if this is perfect combination, but. I think the stitch line on this one is not going to be perfect, so... <laughs> so it came, and the guys from our neighborhood cycle gear store were always kind enough to install my cardo as soon as it arrived. I knew it would fit well because I tried some Neotech 2 in the store before ordering, and I was a true large size. I only had to order the design called the Neotech 2 separator. And that is the only remaining one that comes in the BMW M color to match my GS Adventure bike. On its website, the Neotech 2's revamped modular flip-up functionality offers the convenience and versatility of a full-face helmet that converts smoothly and seamlessly into an open-face configuration for a true two-in-one design. In addition to its streamlined shape and shell-integrated spoiler, the Neotech 2's innovative top air outlet design, along with the chin bars, aero deflector, and vortex generator lip, reduce unwanted wind noise while helping to manage airflow around the helmet in varying riding position. The Neotech 2's advanced shield system provides a large, distortion-free view facilitates smooth and easy shield changes and comes equipped with an internal sun shield that offers riders instant relief from sun glare in one quick motion. I like the padded comfort on my forehead as well. Uh, I haven't really tested it on really hot weather but if ever this really gets hot I could probably just machine the guard up, lift up the, the, this modular helmet. It's equipped with large upper and lower vent shutters for ease of use with riding gloves and expanded three position upper vent for optimal air intake customization and uniquely positioned upper exhaust outlet vents. The Neotech 2's ventilation is ready for every adventure. In terms of safety, Few characteristics of a motorcycle helmet are as critically important as its first and second layers of defense, which is precisely why the Neotech 2 features the showy exclusive multi-ply matrix AIM shell and multi-piece EP's liner. The all-new stainless steel micro ratchet chin strap offers quick and secure closure with unrivaled comfort and adjustability. The Neotech 2 is equipped with a fully removable, washable, adjustable, and replaceable interior system that's been enhanced for a comfortable fit and maximum helmet stabilization during high-speed riding. All-new noise isolator cheek pads reduce unwanted road noises for advanced comfort. It's DOT certified, it's got a 5-year warranty, so I took the deal. this up uh, I think it depends on the shape of your head and the size of your head that's where it really comes down to and if you have sort of like a, a rounded egg shape kind of head like Adam Sandler uh, I think the show we would benefit you and uh, if it's more of like a flat and squarish uh, kind of head with a squarish jaw. Arai and Schubert uh, would be your first choices to try first. And if this is your first time looking for a helmet 
then go with the full face first I guess and see how you would work uh, you could work with it and then probably when you have the time to find a modular helmet then that's the time you would go for your own brand as far as my own brand goes I believe I'm gonna stick with showy for now because I think that's I think they have the right size for me this is large and I've been wearing this for about six hours already kind of broken already and you see how my cheek kind of get plump right that and I keep insisting that's that's the, the best fit for me at least for myself that's my parameter and it works well so uh, it wouldn't roll I know Schubert has the anti-roll system but with about a centimeter and a half more than I would want uh, that would still be too big for uh, me sorry about that I really like the Schubert I really like the ECE uh, I really like the ECE rating and I really kids <laughs> I really like the ECE rating and the, the lock to to hold the modular up but sadly uh, it, the size it it came all down to the size of the helmet and I think Shoei Neotech 2 would be the best for me in this stage but not that it's an inferior product uh, I've always been with Shoei for about almost like I said two years now and I chose, I returned the right product and I got the right product. So I'm happy with my purchase, same price point, but you know, specific level of comfort and all that jazz. So thank you for watching. Stay tuned for my next episode. I appreciate you guys and stay safe and get home. Thanks again.